channel. My name is Amber and this is Amber Next Door. Before we get started into today's video, be sure to hit the subscribe button and become a lifelong neighbor of Amber Next Door. I would love to have you guys here forever and ever. Like this video all the way up so that other people of the other YouTube communities can come across Amber Next Door and we can be one big happy family. Share with your family and friends, why not, across all your social media platforms. Comment down below respectfully, of course. And yeah, without further ado, let's jump right into today's video. So I honestly don't know what I'm calling today's video. I guess when you guys see this, you'll know better than me because you're going to be here after all the editing and pondering. I feel so like... I don't know how to explain it. I feel like my chakras are off, like my energy. I don't know guys, but yeah, I feel like we all can relate, right? We can relate. But yeah, I wanted to share with you guys the newer um, period products that I'm liking. So I don't know, my new period favorites, period tries, some of them are trial and error. Some of them are not my favorites, but I did come across them during the past couple months. And I just wanted to share with you guys. I'm always looking for things that are better for my body, whether it's um, what I'm eating, drinking, especially what I'm using for my vagina during my period. I think that's very, very important. And if she's happy, then the rest of me is happy. And I just um, went through a cycle, so I just wanted to share with you guys the, new, the newer finds and things that I'm sticking with lately. If you are brand new to Amber Nate's store, um, you might not have seen my period hats video from a couple years ago. I am a pad girl, but I'm also I also use um, menstrual cups. So I also use soft cups, softest. They changed and rebranded themselves, but they're still the same um, menstrual cups. I like these menstrual cups because they last for 12 hours, and for some reason, it, this cup just makes more sense. Then the other ones, the other ones are shaped odd. I, I never tried them, obviously. I, I know a lot of people stand by them, but they just seem like, why would I put that in me? These make sense. Like, the wide rim and like how deep it is, that's where the blood will go. These just make sense. And I like, you know, you just squeeze and put it up in there behind the pelvic bone and they last for 12 hours. Um, of course, that's based off of your flow. If you're more of a heavy bleeder, you might have to change it in eight hours or six hours, depending on. I don't use these on my first day or even my second day. Um, I just don't like having things up in there. I like things to just come out freely on the pad. But yeah, I love soft cups, so these are always going to be a staple in my house. Like, try them. Try them out. Next, um, aside from pads there are tampons a lot of people love not love but a lot of people like prefer tampons over pads and I get it it's just it's more convenient it's like you don't feel you feel more like yourself just like this with the soft cups I feel a lot like myself but I know with tampons cause because you're putting something in you there are a lot of brands that um they have a lot of chemicals in them and things like that. So I, I, I strayed away from tampons for so long and I didn't even start using them in my 20s. Um, but recently, they've been a lot of different companies have been making um, their menstrual products with better like ingredients. Some are just 100% cotton, which I like. So I came across this right here. These are in Target. And they're the L brand. Yeah, Elburn. They're the organic cotton tampons. These are, they have a BPA free plastic applicator. No rayon, chlorine, bleaching, or synthetic pesticides. So, FYI, that's what the other tampons have in them and pads. But, um, yeah, I got the big one with regular and super, and it says because options. And honestly, to be completely honest, I got this because of packaging. I'm a packaging girl. When things look pretty, I want them here. And I was like, ooh, like even if I don't use these, if I have guests over, they could be able to look cute in my bathroom. And like, I don't know, like I got pads. I mean, they got tampons. <laughs> I don't know. I um I struggled a bit with these in the beginning because I didn't I didn't understand the applicator. I'm used to the normal tampon that you just 
can just take them out the little package and stick them in these you have to like um, you know open them you open it and then you expand it and then put it in and then do the regular tampon way but yeah I got two brands of organic cotton ones I got the other one is Lola brand so these are more around like seven dollars eight dollars and this Lola brand I found at Walmart another simplistic cute packaging um, they're like $3, $2.96 right now, um, and I just think it's a great price. I, I just kind of passed it up, cause I was like, oh, that's a good price, and why not? Who knows? I like, I'm the, I'm the kind of girl who has everything on her period. Like, I, in my purse, I'll have a menstrual cup, I have a tampon, I have the pads, I have the pain liners, I'm just that girl. So, yeah, I actually use these more this period, because I just wanted to see. I don't know, we doing this. We ain't doing this. We ain't going nowhere. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I like this simplistic look as well. These look cute in your bag as well. So, yeah, Lola is 100% cotton as well. These are the super ones. And the, but the, what you should know is that even though they change the ingredients in these products, you're still at risk for toxic shock syndrome if you keep them in past the time that you're supposed to keep them in. I think it's like... You're not supposed to have them in past six hours or something like that. Be careful. Just read, read the instructions. Listen to your body. I, again, I'm not, this is not my, tampons aren't my, my jam, obviously. I have a whole bunch. But if you do, I recommend these brands because they're better for your body. Now, pads, because pads are my go-to. And lately this year, I know you guys heard of the Honey Pop products by a black, it's black owned, woman owned, and I had to get my hands on them. And even now, like most of them are sold out and I'm so mad that when I did see them in stock at my store, I didn't just rack up. But I've been using the Honey Pop um, pads. These ones with the purple little stick. These are my last two, y'all. This is real. Like I use these. Um, with the purple things are the overnight ones. I love these because what she does in her pads, the um, the napkins. Oh, I be politically correct. I don't know. I'm all over the place today. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog or video today. I love these. She puts essential oils in her in the pads, and I love. It has like a cooling effect. So if you're not about that, I I wouldn't um, recommend getting these. But if you are about that life, I think these are so refreshing and soothing especially with the hot months coming up i do recommend the honey pot pads because like they're comfy they're 100 percent cotton they just feel really really good and like oh uh, but i also got another brand this packaging from target the l brand so this is the same brand as the tampons the l brand has their chloride free ultra um their chloride can i talk today they're chlor chlorine free pads, you know, no dyes, fragrances, synthetic pesticides, all that good stuff. I got them in the ultra thin, extra long, and they have the blue ones. So they're kind of, they're just like Honey Pot. Well, let me not say that, they're just not like Honey Pot, but they're 100% cotton. They don't have the essential oils in them, so you might like these opposed to the Honey Pot. Honey Pot, she put, they, they do have the cooling effect. I don't know if the other ones do, the ones that are not overnight. I'm assuming they do though, because they all say like some kind of like essential oil blend. I love them. I think you should give it a shot. Oh, I cannot wait to like have these in the summer, because I really feel like it's going to be like refreshing. Cause you know your period is so uncomfortable already you know when it's hot outside and i just hate being hot and just ugh. next are all honey pot so i have this feminine wash i got the um the sensitive the sensitive one she also has like the normal maybe i'll put it on the side here or something she has other um kinds of the feminine wash i always whenever it comes to feminine anything i try to get the sensitive for my skin whatever it is but the feminine wash I like that it comes in um, a foam and you literally just you can use your hands if you're not I like to use like a washcloth if I'm on my cycle but if I'm not on my cycle and I just need a refresher I just put it in my hands the three pumps that I um, recommend and you just 
clean hands, of course. And Otter, she never put anything in. Well, nice tampons and other things, but we'll talk about that in a second. But yeah, just remember to, you know, how to wash down here, don't you? You just, you don't need nothing internal. So yeah, I love her um, feminine wash. No smell, very refreshing. 100% natural. The pH is 3.5 to 4.5. Cruelty free, sulfate free. And yeah, gynecologists love it. And that's what it says. The last um, item that I have here is another, another Honey Pot Company product. These are called Boric Acid and Herbs Suppositories. Now, I started using these with another brand, the Queen Bee brand. And I like these because I'm getting, I'm prone to getting yeast infections. I'm prone to all that kind of stuff because I, my body is so sensitive. So say if one week I just, I'm not drinking enough water, that will set my pH off balance. What these do, They, they bring your pH back to balance. If you are not, of course, you should always go to your doctor and your um, your GYN so she can look at everything. But if you know your body and you know you're used to certain things happening, I do recommend these. these are very natural. So boric acid, this has um, boric acid, tea tree oil, and cocoa butter. So all those things are great for just restoring your pH. Um. And yeah, it literally says to balance yeast and bacteria. Um, and you start, I'm trying to tell you guys, okay. So yeah, so <laughs> it's for hormonal imbalances. So your vagina should be, your vagina's pH should be between 3.8 and 4.5. So I forgot what I was just reading that had that. Yeah, so this is 3.5, 4.5. When your vagina is out of whack and it's not being nice to you, and you know it's not for something other like life threatening or other things, um, definitely get these. You can use these after um, sex because it says semen has a pH of 7.8 and 8. So that can really throw you off if you are sexually active. At the end of your cycle, which is what I um, like to use these for, um, Cause what happens is you put it in like you'll put it at night and say your period had just finished and um you put them in and then what happens is it melts and all the other stuff that's in your vagina can come out and it'll restore like your your ph faster than you just waiting of course you can always just wait and let your body do its normal thing these are natural too and i really like these and yeah you just start you start with a clean vagina it says you can enter them vaginally twice a day in the morning and at bedtime for seven days. And that's just if you need it. I just like to use it one time at the end of my period. And yeah, Honey Pot Company carries these. Queen, the other brand, Queen Bee, also carries these as well. Um, I know I have another video up about um, vaginal steaming, kind of the same concept. And I'm also mad about that video because right now it's like not playing for some reason. I had to reach out to YouTube. So if you're trying, if you've been trying to watch that on my channel, I really do apologize that that's not working right now. It's definitely a server issue, not an issue with me. But yeah, I gotta wait for YouTube to figure it out. But yeah, I hope this was really helpful. I hope you know if there's nothing, if this is something new that you haven't used. I hope this video was helpful. I think my favorite thing today to share with you guys was the boric acid because these are not. I feel like a lot of people don't know about this. Or if you do, why don't you tell us? <laughs> because yeah, boric acid is very like, it's natural and it really, for me, it helps. It works with my body and I have a very sensitive vagina. So I feel like it will work for a lot of y'all. So we come to the end of the video. I hope this video makes sense. <laughs> I hope I didn't blab on for too long. But yeah, before we go, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video all the way up, comment down below, share with your family and friends. I will, as always, I will see you next Wednesday at 6 p.m. 
And I love you guys. Thank you so much for your support. And I will see you later. Bye. Hey girl, bring it back, 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 back,